Hello, everyone. Welcome to What Sold Saturday. And welcome oh, back, back to Minnesota, uh, where it is now three, four, five, maybe seven degrees outside right now. It's cold, but Wednesday is supposed to be like 60. Yes. So finally, oh my God, the temperature is going to increase. And with it, my mental health is just gonna like. <laughs> For me, today is the last day of winter and spring starts tomorrow because tomorrow the high is only like 40, but like here, that's not bad. 40, and my car's frozen in the ice, so hopefully it'll melt. But then and the, I can next, dry it out. the next few days are in the 50s, and I'm so excited, which also means that the spring trend report must be coming soon. We're back in Minnesota. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on our Chicago trip. It was so much fun. You guys actually seem to like it a lot more than I thought, because obviously this channel is not like a vlog channel. I was going to say, we are not the travel channel. No, but you guys seem to really like it, so it was really I fun appreciate to make. that. And I didn't really do much jacket at all. And now, <laughs> I know how to say portillos. Portillos. <laughs> we or say it like a Canadian. Portillos. We, we started by calling it Portillos, and then someone told us it was Portillos, so for a while we said Portillos, but then someone told us, no, it's not Portillos, it's Portillos. It's so Portillos. I have went all back and forth, but it seems to be that it's Portillos, so now I will say it right. <laughs> Anyways, this is What's Sold Saturday. Makes me want a hot dog real, man. <laughs> and this week of What's Sold Saturday covers the 5th through the 11th, and remember that we were on a trip for a good chunk of this. We were not sharing for like three days of this. I mean, we we left on the 6th and came back on the 10th. So literally all week. Like the 8th and 9th, we shared a little, but not a yeah. ton. So there's some. My week, however, comma, however, semicolon, dash, does not really reflect that we were gone. Mine does. For some reason, I once again had a quite good sales week. I am not sure why. I'm not sure what's in the water. I don't know. It's springtime. That's what's in the water. I guess It's going to be 40 degrees this week. I mean, yeah. I guess a lot of the things, especially the high dollar things that I've been selling, have been very spring heavy. So that must just be what's happening. But yeah, I had a pretty good week. I guess we'll just dive into the week. Also, Mike is in the room. But as usual, he does not like the lights. And so he's not sitting between us right now, but he'll probably pop up at some point. And if he doesn't, I will at least force him to pop up in the end of the video. Right there. Before we jump into the Poshmark sales, I have one eBay sale that I would like to tell you guys about. And it is, of course, who else, what else, but Agua Bendita. And this is one of my absolute got to be kidding me. favorite Agua Bendita prints. It is the Estampias Bird Flower Patch Linen Dress. So it's like postage stamps with birds and flowers on it's it. It's so cute. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. They make a different one that's just floral, like postage stamps. That one is also just like stunning. It looks like seed packets. Yes. It's so cute. And a new print that they have is a celestial one. So that's probably my favorite now. But this so is cute. this is in like the top three for me. This dress is gorgeous and it is from quite a few years back. So it is really, really rare. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Agua, actually, like, the older stuff does better because you cannot find it well, anywhere. Well, it never, ever, ever, hardly ever, for never, ever comes up on, like, pre-love markets. Especially, you need to get your size. So, like, yeah, if it comes and, like, up, sizes. it's not going to be your size. And you can't really, like, take these in or have them, like, made You probably adjusted. could, but it wouldn't. It killed yeah. vibe. It would. You know? So, this sold for 700 big ones. You and the eBay. On and eBay. the high-price sales. On eBay, and this sold while we were gone. It sold through promoted listings, so that's gonna be a hefty chunk out of it. I mean, obviously not too big, mm -hmm. but yeah, that sold on eBay. That was a huge sale, and wow. I was very excited to have that. I don't know what day it was, but it was one of the days we were gone. Anyways, so the I'm week back down to reality. The week <laughs> on Poshmark covers the fifth through the eleventh. First day is the fifth, and on the fifth, I had four sales. I had three. My first sale was this Ann Taylor striped knit sweater poncho and this went to jen so hello and thank you to jen and this was super cute and it was like new so that's kind of my main reason for picking it up and it sold for 30 dollars, and i get 24 so thank you jen then i sold this ted baker cosmic bloom travel weekender bag this sold for 90 dollars, and i get 69.32 this had a ton of likes and this was a thrift store find that i got for like eight or nine dollars it was, less than it was a bucks. really good deal mm -hmm. i mean the only like logo was 
like a tea on the front, like a tiny little like rose gold tea. So I think they just didn't know what it was. Mike if is, you can't tell, Mike decided to wake up. Yeah, so I have to keep moving my iPad away from He Mike. sits right in front of the iPad because he says, I guess, pay attention to me. Okay, we're only on day one and Mike already wants to make his Mike, what are you appearance. doing? Oh, there he is. Hi, Mike. Mike, are you camera there. shy? What are you doing? Mike, Papa's got to work. <laughs> says, mm. He's like, you don't get to. So then my next one on the fifth was one of my other best sales of the week. And it was this Christy Dawn Herb Lattice Print Peyton Dress. This is one of the most like sought after Christy Dawn prints. And I understand why. It's really cute. It's like little herb plants. Little herbs. And it's like a sold out print. So it sells really well on the second hand market. The pre lived market. Uh, and this sold for $268. And I get $214.40. And that was from the RIP to them. The Thread Up Co oh, Partner Boxes. Okay. They currently Ooh. are still not offering them. And I'm just waiting for the day that they come back. I have... I have one more label I don't have that I need to use, but I'm like terrified because I'm afraid I'm going to use it and they're going to be like, nope. And then this 30 pound box of things <laughs> is just in the ether that is the UPS. And my last one on the fifth was this M.M. La Fleur Didion marble printed blouse. And this sold for 27 and I get 2160. And I think that was my first M.M. La Fleur. No, second. M.M. Lafleur. I have a few M.M. pieces. Uh, my first of the fifth was this pair of Allbirds Men's Charcoal of the Gray Lace Up the Tree Runner or the Tree Hugger or something. Sneakers sold for $35. I made it $28. My next one, the fifth, was this pair of Vintage BB Brown Patent Pattern Square Toed Shoes. My titles get cut off when I read them. So if I'm like, the pattern, the pattern, the uh, 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 that's why. These sold for $25 and I made $20. And then my last on the fifth was given to me by the lovely Miss Gabby. She handed this to me at the bins when we were there together. It was this really pretty Free People Green Floral Sheer Balloon Sleeve Blouse. This thing was beautiful and I knew it would sell pretty quick. Sold for $30. I made $21.32 after a shipping discount. So then on the sixth, I had four sales. Oh no. And this was the first day of our trip, so this is the day that we took off. My first one was this All Saints Orange Vibrant Burnout Tee, and this sold for 25 and I get 20 but for like a basic, just single colored t-shirt, it sold quite quickly. Yeah. Then I sold, this really surprised me, this Brooks Brothers Camel Hair Plaid USA Made Blazer. This is a men's item, and I picked it up because it seemed very, very new, very little use out of it, and it said 100% camel hair. So it just seemed hmm. very high quality. I'm sure the retail was like 800 Brooks Brothers like is $900. Expensive. I remember my parents used to go to the Brooks Brothers outlet <laughs> when I was a kid, and it was still like astronomically expensive. And this <laughs> sold for 66 and I get 5280 but that's great because that was a bins fine. I, I wouldn't like grab this at a thrift store, but no, for the bins, also price Brooks Brothers really high. For the bins, I was like, sure. Then another great sale this Ula Johnson Velvet Monique Jogger pair of pants. I love these Ula sold Johnson. while we were in a Burger King parking lot eating Culver's. Love. And these sold for $155 and I get $124. And those were actually on a runway. So I used that picture as my first picture. Then Sharon popped into my closet and Sharon did some shopping. Oh, Sharon comes to my closet later this week. So thank you so much, Sharon, for not only shopping for me, but for being patient because obviously she had to wait for us to ship once we got back. <laughs> She got these Timberland Sensorflex High Lace Leather Boots, Stella McCartney 2014 Runway Zip Jacket, and LK Bennett Studded Color Block Wool Sweater. And she got these for 300 and I get 240 so thank you so, good so bottle. much, Sharon. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. And that was it for my sixth. My one and only on the sixth was this JoLynn Adrian Blue Floral Polka Dot Swim Top. I found this in the bins. Tis swim season is upon us, and I will pick up swim if it's a top that I can wash or if it's new with tags, and this sold for $20 minus a shipping discount. I made $13.32. Jack's question of the day. Do you like to sell swim? I love swim. We're a house divided. I hate selling swim, and it's Ryan like, loves it. It takes, like, three pictures. It's so expensive most of the time, so, like, the resale is quite good. Not most of the time, some of the time. It's the easiest thing in the world to store. Oh, my God, you can wad them up into, like, the teeny little ball. You can fit, like, 100,000 swim pieces into a little drawer. It's annoying to list. You have to inspect it so close. Well, that, yeah, you gotta, you know, get your magnifying glass out to pay attention to sensitive areas. You don't do that well things. when you have one piece out of a bikini. Yeah. You can literally buy a cheap swimsuit and an expensive one, and it's the same thing. 
like i don't get it the brand i don't so. i don't like it at all I love so then on the seventh i had five i had four my first one i knew this would go super super quick oh, so this cute. mod cloth dinosaur printed quirky blouse Quirky. this sold for 40 and i get 32 that went to monica so thank Thanks you so monica. much monica i am so happy that someone that watches us got that because oh. it is so cute i love a dinosaur print it's i like it when it's like really well done like a yeah, dinosaur print for so adults cute. so cute i love that then he's back the agua ben dealer oh god is back so I sold another Agua this week, and now I'm like basically fresh out of Aguas, besides swimsuits. So, See? <laughs> that haven't sold is what I'm saying. So I sold this Agua by Agua Bandita Herbarium Riviera Maxi dress. Another super stunning one. Beautiful. So cute. I love the color, the yellow to this. This sold for $750. Wow. And I get 600 So another Agua. Oh, Ooh, I've never had one. The best brand. Oh. I have never had one. Then... This, I believe, is a bolo. It is called Savvy, S-A-V-V-I. And this was hmm. a Logo X3 Femme Strappy Sports Bra. And this sold for $20, and I get 16 and I will say my pictures were not that great. And it's just like the color didn't show up that well with a white background. And it still sold for 20 and it sold quick. So Savvy, I believe, is a bolo. Then I sold this Nike Quarter Zip Mock Neck Sweatshirt. Love Nike. And this sold for 22 and I get seventeen sixty. And last on the 7th was this pair of Kate's pearl embellished white leather loafers they sold for 50 and i get 40 and i'm cute. kind of over kate spade shoes i had sold yeah. this exact pair for like 115 like two like years ago back in the day i remember that and mm -hmm. now these took forever yeah they're kind of oversaturated like yeah. once things start to get to like tj maxx i'm like well. yeah so i think be very picky with kate spade shoes so my first on the seventh was this madewell blue toe blue polka dot balloon sleeve blouse sold for $20 I made 16 and then I also sold a, a bra bulbo the brand is cup c-u-u-p apparently it's this like sustainable kind of like the everlane of bras hmm. from my literal google search sold for $40 I made 32 then I sold this Hannah Anderson blue long sleeve a novelty print this was super cute it was a little girl's dress and it had all these like little dogs on it Oh. It had like little wiener dogs, like little smock pockets. It was so oh. cute. So for $12, I made $9.05. And then my last on the 7th was this Rumors Boutique Cropped Short Sleeve Cardigan Sweater. Rumors is just like an Instagram brand. It's really nothing to like go crazy for. This sold for $20 and I made $16. Then on the 8th, I had four. I had two. And my first one was one of the wallets from a recent haul where suddenly oh, I found yeah. like a pile of like three mm -hmm. wallets. And of course, like we were saying, we don't have many wallets anymore. No. And of course, I like already sold all of them so we still have no people wallets. like wallets i i know i love to sell wallets that i love to sell wallets easy pictures oh my easy God, to ship so nice. easy oh. to store i know they can go in the sell really well they can go in the dvd boxes it's yeah. so amazing so the, it was this madewell leather bifold wallet and it sold for 35 and i get 28 then i sold this lululemon ribbed green y strap tank top and i'm very picky with the tank tops but i believe this was a very like current one but it's still only sold for 20 and i get 16 so i got that at the bins i will pick up all the tank tops but i will hardly ever sell them myself i will most likely take them to the consignment stores yeah because it's lulu then stuff. another green lululemon green printed hat and this sold for 29 and I got 2320 Then Courtney popped into my closet and took another one of the wallets that I had found. Oh, and this was like a wallet and an agenda. And I, so cute. I do think that this like print and this style of like agenda was quite sought after. So it had a lot of likes already and I just had listed it. Patricia Nash woman printed leather agenda. And it sold for 68 and I get 54.40. There was a name to the print. I forgot what it is, but I just said women because there's like women. There was women. Like portraits of women. Like yes. very artistic portraits of women. So thank you, Courtney. And I hope that you love that. Okay. My first on the eighth was Sharon's bundle. It was so cute. She got this really beautiful pair of Everlane Animal Skin Tan Black Heeled Sandals. This really nice pair of Free People Tan Utilitarian Crop Belted Pants and this pair of Dance Go Red Leather Velcro Sandals. She got them all for a hundred bucks and I make 80. 
Thank you, Sharon. Then I sold this pair of new tag Free People Movement Navy Blue Star Shorts. Sold for $35 and I make $28. Then on the 9th, I had three. One. My first sale was this pair of Lululemon cross-cut joggers. A lot of Lululemon, Lululemon. I The past, like, two or three weeks, I feel like a, a lot, lot of, of Lululemon. Lululemon. I think they heard us saying that, like, Athleta sells better for me than Lulu. And, like, and Lulu's me. like, no. Ooh. Give me back the crown. She says, mm. This pair of pants, this was men's, they sold for 61 and I get 48 80. That's pretty good. Then I sold the Anthropology Deco Whimsical Animal oh. Printed Puzzle. So cute. So I have now officially sold a puzzle, which I love. <laughs> I'm a puzzle seller. And this sold for $35. And I get 28 It was so cute. So now I guess I gotta That's look so up cute. those cute puzzles. Then I sold this Anthropology Hotel Magic Sun Cup. <laughs> and it sold for $17. And I get thirteen sixty. So... Lots of Lulu and lots of like Anthro Home, I guess. Two That's things weird. that consistently do quite well. Okay, my one and only on the ninth was this pair of Dolce Vita <laughs> black leather cross espadrille sandals. They sold for $14 and I make $11.05. Then on the 10th, I had two. I had three. My first one was this J. Crew Royal Blue Wool Button Blazer, and this was a size 12, so it sold really, really quickly. Usually <gasps> so the blazers cute. are like a four or six, I feel Some like, when I find them. Tiny. Mm -hmm. And this sold for 45, and I get 33, 32. Then I sold another Lulu Lemon. Y'all are going to be so sick of hearing that. Reach for the Run. Ooh. I was listening a lot of Little Lemon yesterday, and some of the names absolutely just like dug the knife in the heart and then just twisted it, and then the other ones would just put salt and like dirt in it. <laughs> Reach for the run mesh sleeved top, and this sold for 35 and I get 28 I'm gonna infiltrate the Little Lemon corporate and just completely go like to the wall with the names. Hack it I'll be the like, system and like change them all. I'm gonna be like, I think we should name this pair of simple black high waisted leggings the run for your life upside down, Shavasana Yoga. <laughs> A yogi granola. Do a backward flip, eat a granola And they'll bar. be like, okay, what was that third word? Okay, it'll be great. <laughs> My first on the 10th was a another Lululemon item. This was the Lululemon gray mesh back long sleeve sweater. I don't have the ridiculous name in the title. Sometimes I put them in the description if they're mm -hmm. oversaturated. This one sold for $35 and I make 28 I still have the goal of finding the run for your life sweatshirt. It exists. Because it exists. We have Googled it I and it is ugly. Run for and love. I want to find it. Then I sold this new so. tag for Love and Lemons blue gingham midi dress. This sold for $135 and I make 108 My sister used to work at a consignment store and she texted me and was like, do you want this? And I said, yes. So I was very thankful to get it for like, I think $10 or $11. Um, and I make 108 which is quite nice. And if you don't know, for Love and Lemons is very overpriced. They do a lot of like lace. They are really known for their lingerie and their dresses and their mini itty bitty teeny tiny and they're very expensive. Look up the logo because the logo does not look expensive. No. It and the like material does not feel expensive. So, no, it's so overpriced. But it's, it's so overpriced. There are certain pieces that are super sought after and all of it in general is very expensive. So yeah, very bloggery. Definitely take out that bolo take notebook. Take out that bolo notebook. Yeah. And then my last on the 10th was this Calvin Klein gray purple floral lingerie pajama set sold for $20 and I make 16 so, on the last day of Boats on Saturday, otherwise known as yesterday, yes. I had two sales. I had seven, which Throughout was quite week, nice. My sales just like slowed and slowed, which is kind of weird. Mine when did we got, the exact When we opposite. got back, mine was like halting. <laughs> and when we were there, mine was like, go, go, go. So my first sale on the 11th was this pair of Prada Platform Espadrille Strap Sandals. These had like the toe prints kind of like oh from wearing them mm -hmm. so like they definitely had their share of wear mm -hmm. and so they only sold for 160 and i get 128 if they were in better shape i definitely would have tried to get like yeah. 300 or something but because of the condition i took that and my last sale of the week was something you can always count on Spanx oh. high crop active Spanx. leggings sold for 30 and i get 24 we love a spank Okay, my first on the 11th was my intro into sneakers, and I regretted it. I do not want to sell sneakers ever again. Uh, Nike Air Force One AF1 Neon Orange, like some collab with some basketball player. They were a kid size, but they fit a woman. They only sold for $28 and make $22.40. I will stay away from any sneaker 
Unless I know for a fact that it's worth money because I just don't understand it. I don't get it at all. Then I sold this Anthro Diletta Black Desi Crochet Lace Top. Mike is also Mike is like, like one inch off camera. And now he, he does the thing where you like, he grabs at your hand because he wants you to pet him. Uh, this sold for $22 and I make $17.60. Oh, there he is. But he just faces away from the I was gonna say, light. he is not a fan of the lights. Uh, sold for $22 and I make $17.60. Then here's where we get into the Lulu Lyman. So I, a very good friend of mine, I do some consignment work for her. Yeah, I'm like, are you getting their keys? Yes, I do some good time at work for her. She is the absolute Vince queen. She's a fiend with finding the beautiful things, and she has a lot, so I help her kind of move some of that along. She's the Lulu and the vintage queen. She has a little house full of beautiful things. Mm -hmm. So this was in the garbage bag of Lululemon she gave me to sell for her. Lululemon gray charcoal, the lift your spirit hoodie. Sold for $30, I make 24 then I sold this vintage Y2K peach pink crochet knit beaded top. This was from Wet Seal. If you remember that, I will never forget the Wet Seal going out of business at our local mall when I was a child and the upset that caused. Sold for $20, I make 16 Then I sold this Lululemon black kung fu loose fit sweatpants. This was the men's item. These sold for $42 and I make $33.60. Then uh, this was from my friend Lululemon black fast and free 10 inch uh, biker short, 10 inches laid the inseam. These sold instantly. For $35 minus a shipping discount, I make $25.32, and obviously I pay her a percent of that. Then I sold the Sundry Lavender Mineral Washed Drawstring Hoodie from a Bins Hall from a few weeks ago. That sold for $35, and I make $28. My gross for this week was very good. This is a good week for me. 2,378. Obviously not as high as last week, but this is the kind of week that I'm still extremely that's really happy mm -hmm. with. Like, that's great. My gross was $753, which is honestly a lot more than I thought it would be. For being on vacation. I was gonna say, for not really doing anything. And my next... <laughs> Mike was... is just... Mike is like, what? He's like, excuse you? Was $1,902.40. Mine was $599.48. So I'm just going to call it 600 But of course, does not count cost of goods. And of course, no. like, for some of these, like the Prada sandals, for the Agua, mm -hmm. for the Ula Johnson pants, I definitely did not thrift those. Like, they <laughs> Mine, were not almost free. Almost everything came from the bins. Yeah, those nice. three were not from the bins or even from a thrift store. So there's, and like the Stella jacket, there's a couple things in here that definitely had a cost of goods that was higher than thrift. Yes. Anyways. Mike, how was your week? Was it good? Mike, how much money did you make? None. Hmm. You just looked away. <laughs> Anyways, that is all that we have for you guys today, but stay tuned, stay subscribed, and keep the notifications <laughs> <Stay> on. Subscribe. <laughs> don't hit the unsubscribe don't yet. Not subscribe. That's funny. <laughs> because we have a Chicago haul of what we got at the fashion outlets and the stuff that we got <sighs> thrift store and at mm -hmm. last chance that we're going to show you guys on Tuesday. It's going to be so much fun. And then Thursday, we are going to the bins once this week. So yes. we should have a regular Minnesota bins haul for you guys on mm -hmm. Thursday. What's on Saturday then? And then the next week, now that we bring it up, I'm thinking maybe we will Trend do... report will be Tuesday or Thursday. Probably one of the two. Yes. Maybe third. Yeah. Okay. We'll we will that discuss out. that It'll later. be next week at but some point. Yeah. In the next week, not this upcoming one. The trend report should be one of the videos, I believe. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Turn on notifications so you don't miss them. Yes. And we, the three of us, not Debbie, this time it's Mike. The three of us will see you on Tuesday, right? Yes. Yeah. Mike, are you going to be there on Tuesday? Probably. Goodbye. Goodbye.